Boca música, tu kende coluca bomoima. Toco mami te lengano. Um, to be a uh, support, an additional or sometimes a missing support mechanism um, for ourselves as parents and, and individuals, um, for our community. And more, more importantly, because we are in the diaspora, um, in the UK, there is approximately 3 million um, African Caribbeans um, of 60 odd million people. So we're, we're very much in a minority here. And so when it comes to the race um, challenge, the struggle, and I'm referring to specifically structural racism challenges, Whilst um, the UK is in the heart, one of the hard countries within Europe and has a strong currency, which then influences the structural challenges, we are experiencing that simultaneously, um, both within our families back home, um, as well as here. And so it is imperative, um, it is beyond imperative that we formulate as we have we engage and, and connect with Zola Bantu, the participants here, and, and others, not just in the diaspora, but on, on the soil itself, and see what we can do. And all, all, all we ask for and give is our time. And with time, we, we understand that our ancestors will do the rest in that union. Um, I don't know if anybody's got any specific questions um, they would like to ask me. I'm very, very Thank you so open. much. Thank you so much, Brian Nick. We'll definitely uh, uh, let everyone ask you the questions when we get to right in the middle of the session. If I also have Brother Flavio, which has joined us, we want to welcome you all. And um, I think Brother, Brother Ole also, the, our, our presenter, I think he has joined us. Brother Ole, can you hear us? Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome. Welcome so much to Bara. That is Bara Ole is basically our invitation, our guest for today. So we hope that uh, we'll be blessed by his, uh, his teaching today. Just before we begin, ladies and gentlemen, basically welcome to Zoro Bantu. And uh, it is basically a platform that awakens the conscience of Black people. Can you all see the screen? Yes. Absolutely. So Solar Band 2 is a platform that is basically bringing together conscious Africans to see how we can uh, work together in respecting the principles of love, purity, and justice. So at this platform of Solar Band 2, basically we have three pre key principles that guide what we do. Is basically we have love, we are, who are the priests, and then we have the, uh, the purity, who are the scientists, and then Zinga, the government. Because if you look at the ancient Asian civilization, ancient Egypt civilization, the, 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 the pyramid was symbolic. It meant there was a combination of three key principles, which is the priests, the scientists, and the government. That is what makes the symbolic shape of the pyramid being triangular. So we're trying to use these principles of priests, scientists, and government. In my language of Congo, we send Saku Mpambunzinga. Saku basically love, purity, and justice. So we're trying to use these principles of Zola Bantu to see how we can bring together Africans under these principles in different expertise to see how we can elevate one another. At the same time, trying to see how we can prepare Africa and introduce a new civilization in Africa. So if you go to Africa, many African countries, the mother will be cooking fufu and then she'll place three stones and a pot on top. So this was symbolic in ancient Egypt and also Ethiopia that uh, these, these three stones basically represent um, the three principles of priest, scientist, and government, which is love, purity, and justice. 
and then the port represent the society. So for any society to function in the right way, there needs to be a combination of these three principles. They have to work together in harmony and then they create the fire that you see here to bend the society so you and I can consume the food in the perfect way. So we're trying to bring these principles back into the heart of Africa by bringing together conscious people. So you can see even the principles can be divided further into different designations and occupations. And Saku is anybody who is helping man directly, like a teacher, a lawyer, a dentist, an accountant, an actor, is doing services and activities that help a human being directly. And then Mpamvu is basically studying nature to see how he can make life for a human being more comfortable. An engineer, an architect, an electrician, a scientist, a mechanic, all these are basically Mpamvus. And then the Nzingas are the ones that govern the society, a policeman, a bus driver, a governor, a king and a queen, all these are Nzingas. So in Solabantu we have over 60 ambassadors, so we have divided each of them into these three branches to be able to see how we can all work together to develop our nation. You can log into Solabantu website, we we'll see many of our projects which our Mpamvus, our Nsakus and our Nzingas are getting involved in. The key project is the education syllabus, which we're working on at the moment to see how we can make a new education system for Africa. You can also check out and become an ambassador of Zulavan 2 by going to our website and also texting us personally. You can become one of these great people who are also helping us to realize this vision. And we have some materials on the internet that you can read to awaken your conscience. We started from, we have 28 chapters of the foundation course. And now we have a pure spirituality course we just began on our YouTube page. So you can read this online. You can also find it on our YouTube page as well. You can also go and subscribe to our uh, uh, YouTube page. And if you feel like you can support us in any way, you believe in our vision, you can basically support us. All these funds is going to be used in the projects and also to see how we can move forward as a people. We recently introduced a Zolavantu store on Teespring. You can go there if you really think that you can support us and you buy these products and wear them. It's really amazing. It's going to as well help us, you know, financially as well. Today we are blessed with an amazing brother, Brother Ole. He is basically in the field of science, so he's empowered. And we have invited him today so he can be able to give us an amazing lecture on science and environment. I'll be getting back to Brother Ole as well. So and but before that, I'd like us to do something interesting. I want to welcome Ms. Ipeleng as well. So before we begin, just a quick uh, activity that we can all get involved in and then we'll jump into today's lecture. Okay, so let me just, Ms. Ipeleng, welcome. It's good to have you. Hi, how are you? I trust you're all good. Welcome. Can you all see the screen? Yes, it is. Yes. So this is the map. This is the map of this is the map of Africa. Huh? Where many of you have been. Oh, you didn't find me, Mr. Berlin. Welcome. This is the map of Africa. Can can everybody hear me? Yeah, you're loud and clear. Yeah, this is the map of Africa, basically. I think many of you claim to many of you claim to 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 be from Africa. So this will be an opportunity for you to prove to us, opportunity for you to prove to us if you are truly from Africa. How well do you know your Africa? So you can see on the map there are numbers, and each number behind it is a country. So the rules of the game is you have to I'll give the number and you have to say the country. And then if you're correct, I will unveil it. And then let's try to cover all this, even halfway through the countries, and then we can jump into the lecture. And then when we finish, end of the lecture, we can maybe finish up um, the, 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 the game. So when I say, um, which number is this? And then you have to give the country name, and then I have to verify if it's right or wrong. So everybody, the one who gets it right, gets a total of five points. We have the Zolabantu store, so you may not know, maybe if you, win you might win as well as to t-shirt as a reward so we're going to begin um you, you can now all open your mic but try to be in a quiet place so you can so we cannot get any feedback okay africa has over 54 countries by the way so let's start uh what is country number 18.
Uh, Angola. Angola. Wow, nice. Who said Angola? Yannick. Oh, what a Yannick. Wow. That is amazing. So number, country number 18 is definitely Angola. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that is correct. What is country number 23? Uh, brother, uh, ca 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 can you please elaborate this? Are we, do we having 54 countries or 55 countries? Uh, I think we have countries well, after we have another country in South Sudan and uh, North well, Sudan. I think. Well, in, in this in this game, there are only 54, okay? I've put, I've put 54. And uh, yeah, currently let's let's deal with 54. Um, I don't, I think it's a very it's, good question. It's a very good question. It's a very good question as well. So let's, let's deal with this game with 54 and then we can talk about that. Uh, does anybody have, uh, thank you, Badawale, for that input. Does anybody know what country number 23 is? Zimbabwe. Oh. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe, that was Tendai, five points for Tendai. So if you get a correct answer, that's five points. So <coughs> yes, country number 23 is Zimbabwe. What about country number 36? Over here. It's Chad. 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 That's but that's but Odell, right? Right. Wow, but Odell has five points for Chad. What about country number sixteen? Ghana. Wow, you guys have to speed up, but Odell is getting points, huh? Ghana is number sixteen. What about country number forty-one? Over here. Mauritius. 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 Mauritania, you guys have to catch up, but Odell is beating you guys. What is country number three over here? Tunisia. Actually, that's Western Tunisia. Sahara. You've just Tunisia. Had... Tunisia. Tunis. Sorry? Tunisia. Oh, Tunis. 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 Actually, but Odell, but Odell, this, this country over here is actually Western Sahara, so sorry. It's not, uh, it's not Mauritania, okay? So that point goes to the other brother. Okay, you're right with Tunisia over here, okay? You're right with Tunisia over here. Yes, this is Tunisia. Okay, what is country number 44? Morocco. 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 That is right there. It's... 44 is Morocco, okay. And country number 50, where right over here? Djibouti. 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 That is Djibouti right there. Okay, country number six. Cote d'Ivoire. Cote d'Ivoire is not the correct answer. Uh, Liberia, Liberia. Yeah. Liberia, but our lay is right. That's right there. That's Liberia over there. Uh, okay. What is country number 22? Mozambique. 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 Five points for Malawi. Five points. Malawi. No, Malawi is two. Okay, 22 is Mozambique. Okay, what is country number 52? It's Eswatinia. Iswatinia. Swaziland. Iswa, Iswatinia. Oh, it's, it, it was Swaziland, but now it's Iswatini. So, but well, there was five points for that, for Iswatini. And what is country number 48 here? Ikutor, Ikutor Ikini. Wow, but Odeo does not live in Africa, guys. You need to, uh, you need to catch up. <laughs> I study up. Africa. Okay, what is country number 10 right here? It's my religion. Uh, Republic of uh, Congo. 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 Republic Re of Congo. Congo Republic. Congo Brazzaville. Congo Brazzaville, right there. But there was five points. What is country number um, number four? Oh, it's Togo. Togo. Togo is not the right answer. 
Kandi number four. Benin. 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 Right answer is Benin for sure. Five points for brother who said Benin. Okay, what is country number nine over here? Guinea. 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 Guinea for the first brother who said Guinea. Exactly. Country number nine is Guinea. Okay. And what is country is number 11? Gabon. No, Gabon is correct. Country number 11 is Gabon. You guys are fast, eh? What's country number five? Sierra Leone. 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 Correct. number 35. Egypt. 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 Wow. Egypt. 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 South Sudan. Egypt. Egypt. South Sudan. Egypt. 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 Is Mala Zambia Malawi. Malawi 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 right there Malawi is correct I think I hate for the flow V country number twenty seven uh, yeah South Africa uh, of course <laughs> we don't know that <laughs> I find that people know South Africa you don't know many other countries what about thirty eight uh, um, Niger 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 Niger, Niger. 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 14 Central, Central Africa Central Republic of Central, Central Africa Wow, Central Africa is correct Country number 24 uh, Zambia Zambia, Zambia. Mm, We have Lusaka over there Country number 8 uh, uh, um, Senegal. Senegal. Senegal Senegal is correct Senegal is correct right there Country number 17. Uh, court, court, I think every, every coast, yeah. Ivory Coast, Ivory Coast. Ivory Coast, they call it. They call it Ivory Coast, Ivory Coast. 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 Ivory you, oh, I've never been there. Come on. Why, why the rush? Okay. <laughs> Country number 45. Congo. Republic of Congo. 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 Republic of Congo. <laughs> Ali Bumaye. <laughs> Country number 33. 33. Ethiopia. Ethiopia. You never been to Ethiopia. Africa, by the way. Yeah. You never been to Africa. You know what these countries. Country number 18. Uganda. Uganda, I think. Yeah, Uganda. Uganda. Right there by Congo. 21. Tanzania. Tanzania, of course it's Tanzania. Yeah, but over there was there already. <laughs> <laughs> Country number 25. 25. Botswana. Right there, what the diamonds are. 42, the biggest country in Africa. No, this is not the biggest country. The second biggest country. Algeria. Algeria. Congo, oh. the, the problem of Congo is bigger, but this map is not completely correct. Country number 39? Mali. 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 Mali is big. I never knew this. Number 40, someone said it. Mauritania. 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 15. Burkina Faso. Jeez. Yep. That was fast. Country number 7. Togo. I think Togo, yeah. Togo. That Togo is great, but I like. Country number 46. Mm -hmm. Someone is from here. Someone, the someone Gambia. here. Guinea Bissau. The Gambia. The Gambia. Oh. The Gambia right there. And the cold. 47, 47, Mr. Gambia. And 47? Yeah, that, that is Guinea Bissau, I think. Yeah. Guinea Bissau? Yeah, Guinea Bissau is that. I think that's Guinea Bissau. Guinea Bissau, that's correct. 26. Angola? No, oh, Angola no, is wrong. No, Namibia. 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 Namibia right there. 32. Mali. What? It's Somali. Somalia. Somalia. Somalia is right here by the horn. Number 20. Kenya. 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 This is East Africa. 
and 34. So not Sudan. Not Sudan, Sudan, yeah. Not not, Sudan. not 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 Sudan, but Sudan. 43. Libya. 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 Oh, Muhammad Gaddafi's hometown. 37. Nigerland. Nigeria. Nigerland. What? Nigeria. Nigeria, the home of Nollywood. And country number 31. Hmm? Who knows this? Is it wrong? No, um, Rwanda, um, Rwanda is wrong. Rwanda is wrong. No, no, Burundi, 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 Burundi. And country number thirty. Rwanda, 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 Rwanda. What's country number forty-nine? Who will get this right? Um, um, I know it. No. Uh, Comor, Comor. Comor is this correct. Yeah, Comor, yes. Country number fifty-four. Uh, is it Cap Vert? No, Cap Vert no, is no, wrong. Cap Vert is somewhere else. That's, that's not. Uh, Come on, guys. Yeah, you don't, don't you know your Africa? Don't you know your Africa? What's country number 54? It's right, but it's like an island. Just, Someone just said it previously. Eritrea? No. 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 What the fuck? What the fuck? The Sao Tom, Tom, something like that. That's on the other side. Someone said Seychelles. This is Seychelles, brother. Seychelles. So. Country number 29. Yeah, Cap Verde. 29. Uh, no, Cap Verde no. is one. Cap Verde is one. It's, it's, no, is it? Yeah. No. Country number 29, guys. What is 29? They look no, like Indians. That's the ocean. That's Indian Ocean. There's nothing there, I think. They look like the Indians. <laughs> which which, which <laughs> country is Indian this? Indian Ocean. That's. that's this is water. Mauritius. That's Mauritius, yeah. Ah, that's not a country, man. That's just nothing. <laughs> okay, country there. number 53. Someone just said it earlier. Yes, I told Sao Tome. Sao Tome, exactly. And country number 51. Lesotho. Let's go to right in South Africa. I don't know how this money. Thank you so much, guys, for participating in the mm -hmm. game for Africa. The next game will be on the capital cities, so you have to do your, your beautiful homework to know the capital cities of, mm -hmm. of, of, of Africa. We're going to hand it over to Brother Ole. Brother Ole, you're welcome to... Uh, I'm going to make you the, the host, and then you can uh, please take over. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for participating in the game. It's beautiful to know that you know your Africa. So we're going to have a presentation today on science and environment by Brother Ole. Brother Ole, over to you. Thank you. Thank you, brother. Um, uh, just, just before you start. Uh, so Brother Ole is going to teach. And when at the end of his lecture, then the questions will come. Please, no interruptions when the lecture is going on. Listen to the lecture. Take your notes. If you have any questions, you have to wait to the end of the session, and then we'll have the Q and A. But Ole will speak for maximum one hour to one hour, 15 minutes, and then we'll have the Q and A. So save your questions for the Q and A, and please, no interruptions. Go on, Brother Ole. Thank you. Can you please add uh, add another that um, another account uh, co-host so I can share the... Thank you. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Uh, here is Ola Israfel speaking from uh, Tanzania. Um, I'm happy we are here today. Uh, I want to share with you some few uh, things here. Um, basically, um, I need to to, exp uh, to address something uh, named as uh, science and environment. This is the big concept we have as uh, here. We are we are basically running our organization named the Mikoko Development Foundation. One of the key things uh, we have and we are adhering is uh, education, uh, contributing to African education at uh, grassroots level. So we are ad adhering and advocating about uh, pure science through our local environment. Uh, we 
uh, passé, I'll, I'll explain a bit uh, deeply and uh, I'll be happy to have your questions at the end. Uh, basically, um, uh, I'm an expert in natural resource, uh, youth work, uh, 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 natural, uh, na natural resources as a uh, uh, assessor and, uh, and manager for uh, uh, basically, uh, I've been graduating in, in social work issues related to, to a natural resource. So uh, I'm going to explain uh, science, things, and environment. Firstly, let me see this. Uh, as we know, the environment is the, the study of man and uh, uh, uh this is the study of man and his environment this is what we we call a, a study this comes to uh, the general concept of geography for those who are geographers they might know this uh, basically the, when you talk about the environment is geography geography it means uh one place to another so um uh so after after seeing that uh uh, basically, what is environment now? Uh, we can, uh, I can say, the environment is a is a natural world uh, as a whole in a particular geographical area, especially uh, as affected by human activities. So, uh, as we can we can differentiate the uh, the the no, uh, the concept of having environment. We can explain uh, uh, differently by our our culture, by our activities that can define environment. So man will define his or her environment basically uh, basing on his uh, local environment. Then another another definition: the surrounding or condition in which a person or animal or a plant live. Or operates so it's the same compared to what I've been explained uh, uh, basically. So uh, you can imagine, uh, uh, for example, a person from Libya, uh, uh, he uh, can have different definition of environment uh, of his environment uh, compared to people who live in Congo. Uh, for example, right now people from Congo we will explain that our environment is too worse. Uh, we have war, there's bombs, whatever. So that is environment. So uh, when we come to, uh, to the importance of environment, basically one of the key thing is the source of life. We, 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 we normally know that uh, our life comes from environment, uh, our daily routine, uh depend on it, on our environment that's why we said uh environment is basing on local uh, uh on local uh, culture local experience whatever that is life so uh, as a life defines the, the 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 general routine of an individual uh in a particular area so um uh, then environment is the source of death uh, as we know, we have we have, uh, uh, we have uh, things that cause death in in our environment. That's why we have um, uh, uh, we identify them as a hazard. So it may cause uh, death sometimes, like uh, for example, earthquake, whatever uh, that may cause death. So that is environment also. So if we talk about environment, we cannot talk about uh, only positive we can see all in all about positive and negative uh, way of looking about environment then uh, environment is the source of knowledge and the discovery uh, we have here in africa um, many places that we say this place have been discovered by someone from abroad that's 
uh, I, I think that is not correct, but I cannot say that, and I have no justification of that. But uh, basically, uh, environment is the source of knowledge. Uh, someone from uh, from UK cannot explain deeply about the environment of Ghana or environment of Kenya or whatever the place uh, compared to local people. Local people have great knowledge of their own environment uh, uh, basing on their on their on their daily routine. Also, environment is the source of energy. Uh, basically, we know that um, we all depend on environment by uh, through eating, uh, through uh, you know sometimes getting uh, firewood, whatever, uh, as a source of energy inside of our body or outside of our body. Uh, that's uh, importance of environment. Uh, also, is a source of development, uh, like industry, uh, raw materials, whatever. We, we talk about development. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, for example, uh, if we have an industry, we, we, we must, we must uh, ask ourselves that, do we have any raw materials that can serve the, the, the purpose of, the, of this industry? If yes, the, the industry can grow. If no, the industry will die. Uh, also, uh, importance of environment is the source of happiness and leisure. Sometimes other people uh, uh, want to uh, to go to uh, uh, places like wildlife places uh, and and and, uh, and and sees that uh, they are they are they are quietly they are staying there, uh, just brainstorming about their life or uh, uh, see that. Or what is happening within their life, just self-evaluation, self-motivation uh, uh, through uh, uh, environment that is, uh, is, is, it brings about happiness uh, and, and leisure. Sometimes people comes to, uh, for example, uh, goes to Serengeti, Gorongoro, whatever, or uh, Kluge National Park in, in South Africa. But I'm not sure that uh, the national park can bring happiness compared to game reserves and and, and local natural places. Uh, so um, it provides shelter. Uh, there are um, uh, a number of uh, animals who depend uh, in 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 environment by uh, on environment by uh, by by residing there, like uh, antelope, uh, human being, whatever. We are we are all uh in 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 a place that we are we are all depending on our our natural environment also um uh it's a laboratory uh uh it's a laboratory uh and the hospital this is very very important is what i i want to explain about the environment for example, uh, right now we have COVID-19 in uh, across the world. Um, uh, we, we, we normally say as a naturalist, we say that let nature heal itself. When we say nature heals itself, it means that, uh, for example, human body, uh, if it had been attacked by a virus, uh, sometimes it, it, it creates um, a, a resistance between <laughs> Uh, the environment so that it it brings it brings something uh, uh, something uh, that it brings this uh, organism into life. So it it must ensure that the nature has to continue or the nature has to end. Um, justification comes here. Our human body or any all animals uh, are natural. You know we are not artificial, so if we need to to justify that our human body is an it made up of uh, of uh, of nature by nature itself, uh, you can you can observe your your skin at every end of twenty eighth day, uh, you might see the the, the 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 new skin is coming up, you see so. 
that's that's uh, that is a nature of uh, of animal. So uh, there is no any any means that our our life can be sustained through having industry that is producing what we call uh, medicine, whatever. So uh, we 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 as a naturalist we have a, a, a number of justification that uh, brings us into uh into 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 a ground that the nature uh, the environment is is the laboratory and it's a, it's a hospital so uh, in a covid 19 we normally see uh, for example tanzania we have been having uh we have we, are, we had uh, different uh what we call natural remedies that have been uh, supporting local communities through fighting fighting the 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 covid a uh, covid issue uh, without uh, without depending on vaccine or waiting for vaccine so the number of uh, infections have been decreased to zero uh, sometimes we can say that so um uh, there is no big infections uh, big area that have been affected by by covid here in tanzania so that's one of the justification but those that is uh, that's remedy comes from environment uh, also it's a framework of economy uh, for example we can also determine our currency uh, through having like uh, stock of uh, uh, mines uh, you know uh, uh whatever we 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 can we can exchange the trade through the trade so um we we normally see this as 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 uh, as always your environment will determine your economy so uh, that's normally is a framework of uh of economy so um let's we move to to science now uh, this this is a is a very important part. Please, everyone, uh, let we understand each other. Um, the science is the intellectual and the practical activities encompassing the systematic <laughs> study of structure and behavior of the physical and the natural world through observation and experiment. So um, basically, the term science uh, is is it's made up by by few people, few uh, um, a, a small group of people, to justify their 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 needs to uh, you know they I don't know their individual needs uh, and be recognized uh, throughout the world that uh, science is 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 all about uh, uh, is all about something compared to others yeah you see so uh, and also we'll see at the at, uh, uh, in the coming slides uh, what is the uh, the the justification uh, what is the characteristic of of science uh, we will see that and and also we'll justify the uh, the current uh, the current uh, explanation of science uh, throughout um throughout the observation we have at our local areas also it's a systematic organized body of knowledge on a particular subject so if we see here there is no any here there is no any of the uh of the explanation that give us the direction that science is basing on a local environment uh, that's we'll see at uh, in the next slide here that's uh, as we know science is it's not a global if science is a global that is that is normally not science uh, science has to be localized and understood by uh by 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 individual uh of 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 a certain group who are who are supposed to uh uh who are supposed to uh, to to understand or to 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 address their own problems as the locality for example people are fighting covid-19 uh, covid-19 is they say it's a, it's a science issues 
And so we need to justify the means. We need to justify the end. Uh, they say uh, the means justify the end, and others they say uh, the end justify the means. So um, basically, about the science, it's it's always it's not the means justify the end. It's the end will justify the means. This that is science. So uh, through, in 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 the progress of fighting COVID. Uh, the the global scientists they came up with the means has to justify the end, so that's why they have been introduced um, vaccine or whatever whatever uh, just wearing keep social distancing blah 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 that is wrong about science. Science has to uh, we have to observe the end first, then we 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 must come up with. A structure that we say, okay, be, uh, according to our experience at our local level, for example, this COVID-19 has has not to be spoken by WHO, has to be spoken by by a national uh, level or, or the government, local uh, the uh, the government, by and it's then uh, but uh, through their local government that we have five cases here, and we we see that uh, it's not social, it's not about social distancing, it's about uh, observing uh, the, the the local priority uh, means of preserving people from uh, COVID-19 or whatever. Uh, I want to to show up uh, some cases here, as we know uh, that everyone across the world have been experiencing a a, a big a, a big fight of uh, throughout COVID-19 COVID issues. But let me say something here 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 at the end uh, at this one i said that environment uh one of the importance of environment is a framework of economy so at this level it is not environment that justify the economy it is a group of people who are saying a scientist who are now justify the economy so the economy has been shifted from environment to science. So the science at the end, uh, what I have to say here, science is it's a global tool towards ruling people and uh, ensuring that there is no anyone who is able to address their own local, uh, local uh, problems and be solved without depending on global science. So, um, uh, that's why we see here, we they said encompassing the systematic study of uh, of the structure and the behavior of the physical and the natural world. There is no world in in science. I I I don't agree this one. There is no world in in in, in science. Uh, I don't know who can uh, can come up with uh, other challenges, but as Zola Bantu, we we need to come up with local. Uh, uh, local observations, local uh, ideas, local uh, scientific problems solving, solving, and also we need to be detached from uh, global. We, we said global tools. There is no global tools. We have our local tools, our national tools. We have uh, our African African culture. You know, I don't know what to say about this, but. Uh, yeah, so uh, nature of science. Uh, the term science, uh, the term science is uh, is um, uh, is uh, um, the term science is used to authorize human fixed ideas. Human fixed ideas. This uh, this human fixed ideas. What I'm saying here is a global, uh, global, a global term that have been used uh, to say science. So the, the term science is used to authorize human fixed ideas over the others to justify the truth of the idea based on artificial understanding. And it is focuses on changing human nature into a robotic world. So um, I'm, I'm basically saying this because uh, right now we have uh, global tech, uh, this global tech and, 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 and the big pharma have been united together so uh, as I said, why environment? Environment 
uh, they talk about laboratory, they talk about uh, 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 medical issues, that is about environment. So when you talk about science, it's, it's something like uh, robotic world and discovery, whatever, 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 blah, blah, blah. Uh, they need to change now uh, nature, natural environment to artificial environment. That's the, the, they want to cause a number of problems that will not be solved at a local level, but depending on global ideas. Um, uh, science is using laboratory and human analysis to lead human communities over health, technology, education, and other key important areas in connection with world economy. So um, uh, I need to, to, uh, to make everyone understand here that I'm not crushing the word science. I'm crushing the, the, the means of science. The, the means of science has to be occupied by individuals, has to be understood by individuals, but it's not a certain group of people who are called in professors and doctors. Is, and it is not for a group of people who are named as uh, a global global scientist or whatever global 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 global. So, uh, for example, in fighting COVID nineteen, as I said, has to be localized, but not to be globalized. And uh, and also, science uh, is natural, uh, but when it got human creativity it becomes artificial or human understanding based on one's understanding and not global understanding. And it will be given as terminology, example, virus, human, whatever. So these global tools have been used for several time, uh, 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 a long time, a uh, long period of time uh, to, uh, to modify their, um, their, 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 I don't know, to authorize their understanding uh, against uh, local, local, local understanding. So um, basically, um, uh, basically, uh, let me come to uh, another, the term science introduce and lead the global discovery. Uh, the term science introduce to lead the global discovery. This is a very important uh, part. I need everyone to understand. If we say um, introduce to lead the global discovery, uh, for example, right now, if you you come up with a new idea uh, in Africa, for example, uh, they will say this idea is fake. This idea is not justifiable. Uh, for example, um, uh, uh, for example, if we 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 we, we recall to uh, to the fight of uh, COVID nineteen uh, here in Tanzania, we had uh, some artificial uh, no, it's a natural remedy uh, that will 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 give people energy to fight ag uh, through their body to fight against uh, the the virus. So um, here, uh, here now, I need everyone to understand that what the concept have been introduced, like keep social distancing, like um, uh, uh, please uh, you can use uh, the mask, wearing mask. Please you can use sanitizers. You can use whatever blah blah. Why don't they say that, please? human body has their uh, has its own way of fighting diseases uh how many virus we have across uh, 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 in the atmo uh, on the, in the atmosphere it's it's a million of viruses but when the the the, the environment changing it means the the the, uh, the 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 nature of the body itself has to transform itself to the next step it means that the change, when the changes, the external changes occurs, it forces the body to change the, its internal, uh, internal, internal, what's it say, internal 
uh, structure of of, uh, of of living or whatever, because human body it contains a millions of uh, of living creatures inside. So, uh, for example, you have we have cells, we have genes, we we have whatever whatever we have in our bodies that gives us uh, uh, automatically the 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 way to live to, in day to day uh, routines, but in a connection with our own brains. So we 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 have been needed right now to disconnect between to di- to be disconnected from our way of thinking to think of of what like uh, like uh, like uh, like robot think that they have been programmed. So we have been programmed for several years, but right now we have to to go against the way of science. It has have been it have been uh, for 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 uh, for long period of time. So um, uh, uh, we need to go to now. Uh, why Mikoko Development Foundation with Science and the Environment? Mikoko Development Foundation is an NGO registered in the United Republic of Tanzania for environmental conservation, education, health, ecotourism, and entrepreneurship. Uh, the organization brings people into deep knowledge of their surrounding, and they have to be scientists at their own local thinking and culture. So um, we as Mikoko, we are, we, we are really thinking that uh, the, the word science has not to be global, and uh, the, the word science has to be maintained with the term environment, because uh for example if you test the uh you test something uh, that have been happening here in tanzania it it does not work the same compared to burkina faso or belgium or whatever because we have different people we have different environment we have different everything is different so god has something in in a hidden places eh? we people we have something in our hidden minded so um uh, uh uh we 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 as mikoko we are we are conserving our uh, local environment through giving people a real education of their own health through having uh, local tourism um and empowering them through owning their local uh, local economy to bring about their own local environment local 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 development through their own local environment but through justify justifying their own needs justifying their own direction justifying their own uh, methodology of what they think about development for example, here I said in, uh, development is uh, environment gives us the mark of development. As I said, environment is local. So science, development, technology, everything has to be localized and not globalized. Uh, uh, so. I need um, you guys to go through this. Characteristics of pure science. Uh, as I said, ca- uh, science has to cover the local area. That's one of the biggest characteristics. So when we see people say, we have global science, we have global tools, we have global, 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 that is not global. If you are the one of global as an African, you have been uh, uh, put into a robotic mind that you, we will be, if we, are, we believe in global science, it means that we will we'll be driven to neo-colonialism. As I say, I can say, one of the global tools to, to lead the, the wicked people 
is to is to is to tell them that you guys you know you're poor you guys you know you are you are you're struggling to make yourself bigger but you you you'll not make it until us we can make you bigger until we is not them it's about us it's about our science it's about our thinking is about our is about our our thinking is about our people is about our culture is about our everything so um this as i wanted to introduce this to zolabantu as one of the key issue as i said last time we had a discussion in during uh, uh coming up with agenda we need to uh, to understand our local issues and come up with our local agenda that we can say this african united state of africa it has to be this way and also uh, another characteristic of science is respect local thinking for example i'm a tanzanian if I, i'll go to uh, benin it means i have to respect beninian because is their place is their environment is their everything so i have to respect what they think i can say this in in 20 20 uh a uh, 20 zero zero um some of the global uh i don't know what to say global uh, global that is global i don't know is imf global world bank whatever they call global global united nations global whatever global they came here in tanzania they said you know what you guys you have uh, 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 a lot of resources you need to transfer these resources into money but what is money by the way we as tanzanians for example we never thought of having money in our economy we we, we thought of having exchange of uh commodity with commodity you come with salt i give you sugar so what justify the means and what justify the end okay so um what i'm what i'm talking here is is about local thinking and local daily routine that is pure science that is pure development we need to respect that before everything that is humanity that is divinity um ideas driven and open to everyone science has to be open and not closed that you need to follow these rules in order to become a scientist. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm really crazy on this. I've been studying uh, natural resource, have been uh, there for a long time, and there are some things that have been discovered in Malaysia, that have been disco discovered in UK, that have been discovered in USA, we are studying here in Tanzania. During my class, I said to my lecturers, please, can we have localized issues? As I'm not working in those countries that have been mentioned here, can we please have at least discussion about one of our key issue here? Why can't we discuss about Ngorongoro? Why, ca why can't we discuss even not about Ngorongoro. Let me discuss even about Uganda, Rwanda, or whatever. About South Africa, for example. They, what, 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 are, what are we discussing? Are we discussing solving our own problems or adapting people's problems? And we, we need to be culturalized, global culturalized. Eh, that's, we have to think globally and act locally. What is think? globally and why have to we act uh, uh, locally are we going to adapt thus those we call global issues from imf 
because they have money is a printed paper against our environment. We said, no, let me come with something else. Pure science has to respect individual's culture. Individual's culture is very important because this is another class. The class, for example, people of South Africa will be, will be, uh, will be uh, introduced, will be introduced to to their own environment by seeing their culture. What's their culture? Their culture will will determine their, their, their way of thinking. Their culture will determine their way of arguing. Their culture will determine their way of solving their own problems. Also, pure science, there uh, has to be, has to, have the open structure and thinking and arguing. Yeah, that's, that's we can say uh, we have uh, a way of thinking. But let me assure you, we cannot have a structure of thinking, but we can have uh, a problem to think about on how to solve it and the way of arguing it. Um, also, pure science aims to change the structure of problems and not bring another problem through solution. Right now we have COVID-19, it's a problem. So there have been a structure, have been introduced by global uh, authorities like WHO to, to solve the COVID-19 problem through vaccine. But we see that vaccine has another problem it is another problem coming in 10 years or 20 years to come so pure science has to solve the problem and not to bring up another problem through immediately solution so guys um there is someone who is asking here what are we discussing that um uh, basically i was presenting uh uh, today lesson I was presenting about um, uh, science and environment. Um, basically, this is an introductory part, but we'll be having uh, different sessions to continue on the way of how real and pure African science basing on our local environment has to be. So please, thank you everyone uh, for listening. Uh, uh, please, uh, if there is a, there is a question, uh, I'll be happy to to go through the questions. Thank you so much, Barole. Actually, Ms. Peleng was just repeating what you said. What are we discussing? She wasn't uh, trying to ask uh, uh, the, the question. But yeah, I think uh, that was such a beautiful uh, presentation. My God, my God, I've been writing some notes. Thank you so much, Barole. I think um, uh, we're gonna open uh, the the platform. We're gonna open the floor now for to, for some questions. So if you have a question, you just raise your hand, and then we can be able. I think we have brother 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 Odeo has raised his hand, brother Gilbert also. So let's start with brother Odeo. Brother Odeo, uh, you can ask a question, or you can uh, let's start with the questions first, and then we can have the contributions after. Just start with the questions first, brother Odeo. Go on. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Thanks for giving me time. Mm, to speak. Um, yeah, it was a, a great presentation. Um, I understand um, it, it sounds uh, actually the, um, it's a, a follow up more, mainly on what I, I was explaining about the SDGs, uh, Agenda 2030, Sustainable Development Goals, is the global elite who are, are dictating how science is supposed to be and environment. And I'm very, I'm very glad he bring it up. Um, um, Brother Olas, that um, that science should, should be local based and based on on, on fact finding on the ground and not what somebody else, a scientist, ten thousand miles away, uh, uh, think about how the environment is uh, on the ground. So he's uh, absolutely right. But my question is, um, uh, 
you, you, you mentioned something about um, you, uh, you were not allowed, people are not allowed to, to talk about the game reserve. The game reserve, uh, I, I think you said something about that. Maybe you could uh, elaborate on that. Not allowed to talk about certain areas. Uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Brother Odell. Um, you know, one of the key issues I was trying to talk when we are, we are in our class is that we have, uh, you know, if you, are, you, are, you want to graduate in, uh, I don't know, to the, uh, in other countries, if you have to graduate here, you must understand what we call global issues. So um, when we are discussing about global issues, I was, I was wondering that we never discuss about, our, about local issues as we discuss global issues. So I, I tell them, uh, I ask that, why are we discussing global issues like Malaysia, USA, UK, and not discussing about our local issues, basing on our local issues? Per se, we can compare, but not studying them. You know, there's, there's a difference between studying and compare. Comparison, it means understanding them, while you have been understood yourself. So we are, we are, we are promoting much on understanding global issues, not uh, against understanding much better our local issues. So um, it, it was not, uh, you allowed to, to talk about game reserve, whatever you can. But basically there is this, a certain structure that have been created of understanding global issues, of studying global issues you know you take 48 hours considering studying uk i never been there in uk if if i, I was there but maybe is 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 one street for example but not understanding the whole uk let let queen elizabeth understand and understand the whole uk because She's the leader of UK, but I'm the citizen of Africa and not the citizen of UK, for example. <laughs> so uh, we, we are allowed to discuss anything, but we have been in a class. We have been studying about global issues, global issues. That's why um, in, in, in my experience, I have to come up with different thinking and, and, and also I want to justify this through President Magufuli, uh, the way he was thinking about COVID-19 and other things. So I, I, I was happy that President Magufuli was the one who was, uh, who, who has PhD, but thinking differently from uh, global, you know, PhD is a, is a global issues, is a global graduate, but he has been thinking locally and acts locally. I, I, I think, Brother Odell, I, I answered your question. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and a, a small yeah. quick one. Um, is it possible to, to enter those areas? Or is it somebody stopping you, Stop, stopping people from uh, going to, to, to observe nature by itself and to, to make new science so that you can debunk mainstream science? Are you allowed to enter, the, to enter there? Yeah, you're allowed to enter there, but uh, through uh, following some instructions and uh, guidelines. I'm not, I'm not quite sure uh, about, uh, I didn't justify it, uh, how about these instructions, but I'm still on my study. So uh, I think when you guys, uh, you'll be here and in your countries, in African countries, we'll be uh, struggling to understand all of these issues together. So uh, I'll be happy not to say today about this, but we need to follow up, keep following up about these instructions. Where are they coming from? Are they coming from donors funded projects or whatever? So it's, it's something to be quietly uh, assured of, of it. Hmm. Thank you so much, Brother Ole, for that response. We have a question from Brother Gilbert. Brother Gilbert, you can go on with your question. I want to welcome Brother Kabila as well. 
Uh, with a, with a Gilbert, go on with your question, Brother Gilbert. Hello, everyone. Uh, very, very interesting lectures there, uh, brother. Very, very inspiring. My question is um, that with regards to, like uh, you mentioned about PhDs uh, and other, other qualification professor, whatever, being something kind of global as, as it is actually. Now, we have some of us, actually many of us that have those uh, PhDs, professors and stuff. And uh, you see them, uh, especially, uh, especially I, don't, I, I don't know if I should say, especially now, but you see them with uh, this global, you know, this global meeting, like for example, global education. But at the same time, at the same time, they are crying for a free Africa. What, what can you say to such people? How can we, uh, yeah, how can we help those kind of people? If, if help is the right word, what can we do with such people? Okay, thank you, Brother Gilbert. Um, what I can say, um, I'm still insisting of having something impactful at our local level. That's why we as Bikoko, we are not fighting with them. We are saying, but we are acting and thinking at our own situation, at our own priorities. And we, 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 we promote people to think at their own locality and act at their own locality. So it, it is not the matter of fighting with them. It's the matter of impact that they, they will be learning in the future. If we will start fighting with them, it means we are bringing chaos. And that will, 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 will end very immediately because um, the, now uh, global issues has been ruling uh, local issues. So we cannot fight with them. It's, it's the matter of keep our people understanding that please you guys, you know, you have power. You are not poor. Eh? You are rich. You guys, you know, you have knowledge. You have power to do this. You have power to do that. You have power to think. You have power to solve. You have power to, to experiment. You have power to bring solution. You have power to do everything you can. But it's not them to bring solution for you. It's, so it's, it's the way, it's the matter of empowering people. It's the matter of keep people believe in themselves. It's the matter of not people to believe in PhDs and all professions, whatever we have here. So it's the matter of keep people believing in themselves. That's the first one, first of the, of the first thing to do. So Brother Gilbert, we cannot, please don't fight with PhDs. Don't fight with, with professors. Even fight for yourself. Get the PhD, get with the professors but not think as they want you to think that way. Hmm. Thank you, Brother Gu. Very, very impressive response. Uh, uh, anybody who has any other question, you can raise your hand. Any questions from anybody else? I think you can uh, ask your question right now. You can open your mic, you can ask your question. We we'll have a hand from Brother Odeo again. Yes, Brother Odeo, you can ask your question. But um, <clears throat> and I, I don't know, um, it's a difficult question. I don't know how to ask it really, but um, I wonder, uh, you, you mentioned um, if we fight back with them, uh, it will be chaos and stuff. Is there a lot of uh, foreigners there? A lot of uh, foreign NGOs there? Do you know? Yeah, I know them. I know them and I've been meeting with them. And there are, so, there are a lot of restrictions they have been provided to us and they, we said no. And a lot of misunderstanding have been occurred here. So we said, okay, it's not a matter of following you guys. It's not the matter of having your fans. It's not the matter of having you at our, uh, at, our, at our working places, but it's the matter of having our people solving their own problems. So there are a lot of, uh, international NGOs, we call it international NGOs. So uh, right now, our, we thanks, we're thankful to Magufuli's government, whatever, we, we don't have him anymore, but we thank him during the, his, his regime because 
he promoted local NGOs a lot compared to international NGOs. And there are a lot of restrictions provided by the government uh, during uh, three years ago, uh, that they have to do this and this and that in order to work in Tanzania. So uh, a lot of changes uh, uh, have been happening here. So there's no uh, time to worry. There's no, uh, you don't have to worry. So it's, it's yeah. yeah, because what I'm saying, you know, <clears throat> I don't know well, if you're aware, yeah. is that uh, there is now a one world authority, a one world government. That's why the WHO is so powerful and they are imposing lockdown laws, curfews in um, a, a lot of parts of the world. Uh, only China and Russia and, 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 and Belarus uh, they, they do their own way and, and they are being labeled as dictators. And, and, and President Magafudi also did not want to go along with the bandwagon and, and that's why they labeled him also a, as a dictator just before he, 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 uh, he passed away. So, um, but is, are people aware of that, that this one world government is now in place and we have to find a way to secretly uh, break away from that lock because it will only get more worse because uh, what I could see here is that the middle class right wing people, the, the, the really the sometimes we we'll call them extremists, but I'm accustomed to Dutch racist people. They are rallying <clears throat> and they are wanting the government to invest more in the, in the military. So, yeah, because Trump said uh, Europe have to invest more in military. So they want more investment in the military and they want to also to many people are already, already talking about Africa, Africa in 2050 would be the, would be the four and a half billion people. So, and they and that terrifies a lot of Dutch people. So they are rallying to, to do something about it. Yeah. So they are already building up uh, the, the, the atmosphere. So I think we, we will, we will have a collision anyway. And I think why we don't look at, at how to, to fix our security before it's too late because when it's too late it's too late it's like a waterfall uh, like a, it goes like a snowball and it's it's unstoppable so i think it's uh, the only thing only way <clears throat> how you could uh, repel or be let's say, safe is if you have a safe security like many countries in asia who who uh, who america does try to test but they really don't have a they don't want to uh, lose too much lives you know that's why so it's a big industry, what you cannot avoid. You could say you want to live peacefully and live in harmony, but it is also evil forces and they are building up the military. They have people who build a career on that, thousands of thousands of people. So what, what, is, what are we gonna do? I, I, have a, I have some ideas and I want to, 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 to share yeah, with the- Yeah, yeah. I think, I think uh, we'll give you the opportunity but I would dare to share his ideas. We have one more question from Mr. Pelen, and then I'll also ask my question. Mr. Pelen, you can unmute your mic. Thank you so much, Brother Odell, for that insight. Yes, Mr. Pelen, you can unmute your mic. Okay, um, greetings to everyone. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. No, mine is not a question as per se, um, but rather... Um, a comment. First of all, I would love to thank you, brother, or at least for your um, presentation. And actually, I like what you said. The question you posed, um, I think, is what we need to meditate on. That um, why should we be knowing so much about global issues when we don't know much about our um, local issues and indeed there's a difference between using something for comparison and studying it and this um, also calls us to re review what we call education what is it that we are becoming experts in we're becoming phd holders we're becoming um a professors we're becoming all those things but what is it that we are knowledgeable in and how helpful is it to us as Africans? 
I think that's what I wanted to touch on. Oh, oh also, and I wanted to just comment that um, I don't think you have to justify saying that um, the 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 Europeans cannot come and discover Africa when Africans are there, because I mean that's it. It, it just doesn't even need to be justified. It's something that we can proudly say that it's it's not possible. For example, like with um, Victoria Falls, it said that it was discovered by. Um, Who's this guy, Livingston? David Livingston? But there were people living there. So it's according to their narrative, Livingston was the first fall from the Westerners to discover it. But what is our narrative? Um, thank you very much. Well, thank you and so I much. liked um, how you break down the, the environment, the um, relevance of environment to men and the well-being of men. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, do you have something to say to that? Much appreciation. Thank you. Um, actually, I also have a question, Brother Ole, and my question is in regard to, you mentioned something about that Tanzania, you did not really want money and you preferred to exchange. So are you in support of the, bat, of the butter system? Because I think even Brother, Brother Yannick, who's with us here, might also make some input in that. Uh, <coughs> I don't believe in, in the in the money concept as well, using cash and all that. I think it's better to exchange on things. But they said that, uh, according to history, that when there were so many things in the marketplace, so um, exchanging of goods and, and I give you a cow, you give me a goat, became very complicated as, the, as many goods and services built up in the market. So if you're saying that we, money cannot, we can use a different system and not money, what could be the appropriate system and then maybe we can have but the unique also who's who's more involved in this can bring his input into it go on uh thank you uh brother um yeah it's a very beautiful question but this is uh uh i think we have another topic uh, uh that is uh other day topic we have to spend a whole day topic to discuss about this and also and now this is it's another agenda you know in a series of these uh there's uh progress i'm i'm making here is that i want to uh, to answer the question we have in last meeting that why i said please let me not jump to agenda we have we must have something to understand first then we have to go to Agenda. So, economy has to be changed from economy. I, I cannot bring an answer here. We have to think together. Then we have to propose to African uh, head of states that please, you guys don't go with economy, don't go with currency, don't go with this and this. We have to go with another one because uh, our butter trade system have been destroyed is no longer working in our local communities, even whatever. So um, we have, to, we must have something else. Uh, I, I don't know which is that one, but we have to think together that in, in next days we have to say uh, the currency, uh, what, we, what they call currency, uh, we, 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 don't, we don't call it currency anymore. We call it this way and what determines a, the purchasing power or whatever, what determines the cost, it's not the cost of, uh, what determines the cost of production, what de uh, determines whatever the cost of what, we must have something else in order to fight against, but it is not has to be differently. We just have to much bigger difference from what they believe, from what they impose to us. But it's technically, uh, uh, if you say, it, one plus one uh, that's equals to two, yes, is equal to two, but how now to get this answer? We all go to two, but how to get the answer? The way of getting the answer? That's, we need to think the way of, uh, what first I can say about development, what defines us as Africans as we, can say this is what we believe in development that first then we say this is what we believe in economy this is what we believe in currency 
because we have what defines currency, that is natural resources. Because we have what defines economy, that is environment. Because what we have that defines development, that is our countries. Uh, I think, uh, 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 brother, brother, uh, yeah. Yes, yes, brother. This is, uh, this is what I can say, but uh, I cannot answer this question. Please, mm -hmm. let, let me, let me, uh, let me, let we wait until the, the discussion of, uh, of uh, uh, economy and development. Econo we will be having economy itself, development itself, and the currency itself. So uh, deeply, uh, deeply be assured that we will all discuss and evaluate all of the things that have been putting us into a stream of new colonialism, that is what we have to fight. So we must understand what are we fighting for. Mm, absolutely. Uh, but I, Nick, if, if you, do you want to say something in regarding to the input that Brother Ola said? Brother Nick, if you. Um, yeah, sure. I, I've got a, a few thoughts, really, and, and comments as he spoke during his presentation. Firstly, I, I would love for him to come and meet our team if he has the availability. And Brother Ole, that, that was awesome. Um, I, I took a lot away from it. I enjoyed it. And I use the word enjoy deliberately. I also learned from it. And when those two interact, I connect. And I, I would like to thank you and Zola Bantu for that. In terms of some of the things I specifically connected with, um, Avi's already mentioned the barter system. I, I, I will come on to that. But m mostly your, your, your take on how we need to, this, I guess the word local, um, global thinking, but um, a local scientific approach. And it married with, I guess, a difference in language that we use in, in, in terms of setting and, and, and person-centered in terms of how, how we approach our work um, within the UK. And one of the things as some of the questions came back to you that occurred to me was whether or not with, we, nobody can really know the challenges um, within each particular country, within each setting, unless you're living there, et cetera, et cetera. Um, if, if you accept that premise, um, not knowing the challenges, um, hearing them from the media is not the same as to what it is on the ground, but with you knowing what those challenges are, to give an example, I know that when I call home, I can't have certain conversations with my mom because some calls are listened to. Um, um, that, that's Cam Southern Cameroon. And therefore there is very, it is restricted as to what can be done. Um, sometimes even from my perception to when I call back home and discover that, no, no, Yannick, you may want to do that, but that, that's not feasible at the moment for X, Y, and Z, because this is happening now. We've got this lockdown, etc. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. But to lead some, I guess, land on my question and, and thoughts is really more is with the NGO situation specifically or, and the global NGO situation, are there any eligible counterparties that you share synergy with um, that you can begin to, to, to formulate your own? Um, I guess, eligible counterparty as it is within the framework of Tanzania coming in, 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 inwardly um, by the government under the framework of uh, international non-governmental organizations or quangos or however it, it, it is framed within the context of the country. And I'm just wondering what, 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 what if that has been something that has been considered um, and perhaps maybe discuss with you at another time what those challenges are. And of course, to, to pick up on the barter element of what, what we've touched on, I agree with you, that's probably a separate um, and a whole day and more conversation. Um, I, I like to begin it with 
probably money and a little bit more about the, the history of, of money and how that has been used, looking at and putting it in context of interest. My, my, my background is investment broking. Um, I, I worked in equities and in foreign exchange um, in London. And one of the reasons I do not do it today is because I, I understand that every time I am paid a pound or I, I make a pound for a client, they, they needed to make at least 10. Um, so if I'm looking at that 10% of the world that we, we claim owns the majority of the wealth in terms of challenging structural inequality, that is a massive undertaking for me to be under the same roof because I'm contributing to the same challenges that I think I'm encountering whilst I'm living here, even within the domestic country that I'm from and my parents are experiencing today. So I start with the history of money um, because for me it sets um, the, the, the tone as to what money really is, um, our, our desire for it and the modern use of it and what it's transpired to. Hey, and how can I ask a question too? Um, can I ask a question, uh, Brother Olaf? Yes, of course. Yeah, is um, uh, what about the NGOs there? Do 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 the government knows that foreign NGOs, all of them, all of foreign NGOs, they're all being um, subsidized by foreign governments. It is known here. It's known here. The middle class are, are complaining about it that the government pays a lot of a billion dollars, billion euros a year goes to Dutch NGOs in Africa, a billion. So do they know that, they, that those NGOs are heavily subsidized? So if they know that, would they not be able to, to subsidize their own local NGOs to okay. do certain uh, yeah. tasks? Thank you so much, Brother Odeo, for that question. And before Brother Ole responds to it, let's just allow Brother Yannick to finish up, and then we'll move on to Brother Ole will be able to answer your question. Brother Yannick, uh, can you finish up what you, you were saying? And then we can have Brother Ole to respond yeah. to you. It's... Um... I guess to pick up on the point regarding NGOs, then I'll complete, um, my, my, I guess, my question. I can't speak for Tanzania. I can speak with a, lit a little bit about Cameroon, and I can speak a little bit about the UK. And I do know that infrastructure-wise, even within what it's transferably the third sector, um, UK-wise, what they call grassroots organizations, they struggle, and they struggle for structural and the same inequalities that we see elsewhere. So when, when I, that, that's just my UK environment, which is comparatively better if you want to look at it that way. If when I go back and consider, let's say farming and looking at bartering um, in the country traditionally, which is what we do, and trying to see how um, we can continue and, and feed ourselves and others with organic food, because we're, we're very unsure as to what the produces that are coming into the country it is difficult on the ground level when there is a genocide, when there's a civil war. Um, and it's difficult sometimes on a daily basis. Some, some, some days are different to another. So to, to put infrastructures in place um, that are new, um, that are innovative, um, to deal with the corruption, to deal with all of those systems, to deal with then attach that to a Western, uh, I, I guess, Verkle, which it, it is, comes under the umbrella of charity, which really is a disguise for where rich people can, can hide their money um, from, on my take. Um, it's, I think it's quite challenging, but that's my perspective. But to finish off with, I'm very keen to explore with Dr. Arley and others um, for more conversations about bartering, because I, I do think for a number of different reasons, it is essential um that that we explore those and um, thank you thank you we can have brother Ole, brother Ole, you can respond to brother yannick and also brother odell and then we can have other people's contributions and then uh, brother odell can come in with some solutions that he had mentioned earlier that he has thank you yeah thank you uh brother zora the the issue here uh i've trying to address what we are doing on the ground we are not dealing with the situation of NGOs in Tanzania, but we are trying to advise the government, whatever we can. But that is not a point of our, of our discussion, as, uh, or the point of consideration as Mikoko Development Foundation. What Mikoko Development Foundation thinks 
think much on the centered uh, centered conservation centered issues to the local communities. Uh, I, I remember I've been telling some of the people that, can you please help your local communities to understand their own problems? That is what Mikoko approach is. So we are not considering much on having, uh, for example, a billions of money that have been, will be provided by uh, World Bank or uh, whatever the embassy is, but why there's budget cut off uh, are still happening, it is because of the political issues. So we we don't want to deal with that, but we need people themselves to be empowered to deal with those issues. So um, in talking about um, uh, uh, the structure of NGO, uh, the structure of NGO here is it's not complicated that much because right now NGOs have been authorized to, to operate their own uh, uh, profit, uh, profit based projects so that to generate funds to support their own local uh, projects. So it is not the, the, the government uh, of Tanzania, for example, does not have uh, sufficient funds to provide to these local NGOs. So it's easier for them to provide. Uh, best in working environment for NGOs, local NGOs to grow up. So it is not the matter of um, of getting money or appeal for funding. It's the matter of helping and supporting people and unite people together. And there's NGOs, um, uh, there's NGOs uh, here in Tanzania uh, are not owned by a group of people most of NGOs here has to be owned by local communities because the development belongs to local communities. So uh, for example, if you go to our website, you'll see uh, how we work and our structure on our leadership structure is start from national level to local level. So it's, it is not a matter of getting funds, it's the matter of how we are we supporting uh are we passing this truth information uh, through each other and and come up with uh, a national tool for development and what what is that development are we believing it you need so uh responding to uh brother odell i think that's the the issue and and also to 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 brother uh uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I also I can uh, what I can say here uh, before I I, uh, I can end the uh, the question responding to the question I can say that uh, we have people who we say they are diaspora diaspora people I think uh, the African who are living abroad. So um, it, there is a great uh, uh, gap of communication between these local NGOs and, um, and, and, and people who are working abroad. Uh, okay, so, uh, and also there is no enemies of people here or local communities to help each other. So what are we creating is a room for people themselves at their local communities to help and support each other that we call Ubuntu, I think, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. So um, uh, it's what we have, we share together. We, we call it Ujamaa during Mwalim Nyerere uh, uh, regime. So it's not, uh, I, I think uh, we'll be having a lot to discuss in the future because Zola Bantu is coming now as a political uh, organ based organization. So I'm supporting Zola Bantu, because is is uh is a political is a political based uh, organization that can can bring all of these chains together. So through Zola Bantu, we can discuss on how to solve these issues. But through Mikoko Development Foundation, we can we can see how to act on our resolutions. 
uh, I'll, I'll be thankful on that. Oh, thank you so much, Brother Olaf, for that. Um, we have Brother Flavi. You have any any input on what Brother Olaf has said on the presentation? Any any input from you, Brother Flavi? No. Um. Yeah. Thank you very much for the presentation, and thank you very much for the information. And yeah, I've taken quite a lot of uh, notes, and unfortunately, I got kid here. <laughs> you know, so I can't speak. You know, I'm just taking notes. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Flavi. We have Brother Berima. Brother Berima, can you hear us? You have any input to add or oh, a question, Brother Ole? Brother Berima. You can unmute your, your mic. Okay, we have, uh, uh, but yes, what are you? Hello. Yes, what are you? Welcome. Yeah. Yes. You have yeah, any? welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Thank you for, thank you for brothers and sisters. Thank you all. I'm very happy to hear this discussion for the second time or for the first time. I think um, unfortunately, I was very late, so I don't have anything to talk about it today. So maybe it could be the next time I'm always keeping note about it. So that, and I'm also happy about our brother Odell, his matters and what his this, this, the discussion that he is, or ideas that he have brought to the, um, the field. And I do appreciate it because we need to see about how our securities and those things very faster than everything. Because I can see that that will help us a lot because once our um, other people were planning about us, we need to run after our life because we need to run after our life. So the securities measures will be very good for us to think about it. That's I think is my opinion. So thank you very much. I have no more to say. Thank you. Until the next time that we shall meet again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank we you. also have Brother Cabello with us. Brother Cabello, you have any input to add? Um, uh, yes, yes, Winnie. Um, thank you. I know I came late. My alarm didn't go through. Uh, I was sleeping and I missed, I missed quite a lot. But uh, due to the remnants that I have gathered from what was falling from your lips, it's very exciting, and uh, and what excited me was to hear about starting uh, this uh, from the level roots, from the level, from the roots, from our community themselves. The most strongest hold is, uh, is uh, I think it is to educate and start this project and involve the young ones from primary school to high school at their. At, at, at in our level school, I think that will uh, that indeed will have an impact on how we can care and own our environment and our economy because we will own the minds of our people. I I I I I I am really excited and that you hear uh, hear that. I, I will listen to the definitely. I'm going to listen to uh, to this lecture uh, one more time. Though I have lost a lot. And I so I regret I regret that I lost because it was late hours when I realized that uh, I've lost and uh, my meeting time is really over. But I'm grateful uh, for, for this. Uh, but it really makes the difference uh, that uh, we can uh, put our loins together, our you know our our, our heads together, and uh, gather some um, uh, ropes in our loins to put each other and move forward, uh, forward to Zolaban, forward Africa. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, Brother Gabriel. We have Ms. Lebohang. Ms. Lebohang, you want to say something? Ms. Le Ms. Lebohang? Yes, Ms. Lebohang, you can unmute your mic. Hey, Zola. Yes, we can hear you, go on. Thank you so much. Thank you for such a beautiful lecture. I was touched by an explanation when they're saying, science shouldn't be global but more local you know we are learning so much from the groups and we realize that we are on the right track so i appreciate today's lesson and i've made some notes uh, i won't have any questions for now but uh thank you so much i've learned a few 
Thank you. We have Brother Mark, Mark Benjamin from the beautiful nation of Uganda. You have something to uh, contribute, Brother Mark? Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Zola Bantu, Avi, and uh, and uh, Brother, I, I, I forget how to pronounce his name. Uh, the, the main discussant of the day. Yeah, Ole, Ole. Thank you very much for the insight. It, it's really making a lot of sense what you've shared because we find that school is teaching us a lot of things that are, you know, um, pretty much things that we have to cram in order to, you know, pass an exam. Yet after school, you won't have to apply those concepts anywhere, you know. Uh, so what you're sharing is really, really impressive. Um, I just feel like... Um, this information has to go a long way than just a Zoom call. I don't know how we uh, how that can happen, but uh, at least someone is doing something. I really thank you so much, Alvi, and for having me join this call. It's my very first time, uh, though I had wanted to know where different people are coming from. I don't know if that usually happens Hello? To, for people to tell us. Hello. Do you guys hear oh. me? Hello, you hear me? We are hearing you, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I was saying that. I don't know if... The, the... Hello? Alvi, you can hear me? We can hear you. Go yes, on, brother, Mark. We can go on. Can you, nice. Brother. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I was saying that um, I don't know if it's okay for people to tell us uh, where they're coming from, uh, which countries are being represented on the call at the moment. I see it's 13 of us. Oh, uh, myself, I'm from Kampala, Uganda, and that's where I am right now. Wonderful, wonderful. We have uh, the main speaker, Brother Oloi, is from Tanzania. Brother Berima is from Nigeria. Brother Gilbert is from Cameroon, and also Brother Yannick is also from Cameroon. Brother Ikan is from uh, Jamaica, and then we have with Lebo is from South Africa, but the Kabila is also from South Africa, but Odell is from Guyana, he lives in Belgium. We have Miss Miss Tendai, she's from Zimbabwe, and Miss Ipeleng Tilahe is from South Africa, but Azahi also is from South Africa. So those are the people we're having here. I'll send you the list after the after the meeting. Now we can Hello. have yeah, yes, brother. Hello. Yes, Mr. Beric yeah, 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 from Ghana, right? Yep. Sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. Me point from Croatia, yes. Ghana <laughs> from Ghana. Sorry. Thank Ghana. you very much. Now we're going to have you, brother Ikan. Um, uh, let's, let's have brother, brother Zahir if you can say something. Brother Zahir, thank you for coming in for me. Brother Zahir. Yeah. No, thank you very much. No, it was uh, it was an awesome presentation as well. I was a little bit late, but uh, I really did get into the meat of the the discussion. Um, yeah, no, I think, uh, you know, I think it's very refreshing for myself, um, you know, to know that there are other African brothers and sisters out there who are, you know, th uh, you know, having these thoughts and, and, and raising is, and, and vocalizing these ideas, um, you know, from wherever you guys are coming from, you know, because um, it kind of seemed like for myself, you know, uh, all the solutions are coming from the outside, uh, you know, to, to us, because why... But, you know, we living here on the inside, we like, um, you know, thank you for coming through with all these solutions. But, um, you know what, you know, this is a bit, I would, I would approach it differently because, you know, I live here and I get to experience the challenges of, of every day, you know, based on where I am in my community. So I've got a better idea of, you know, how, uh, you know, solutions or what solutions should be. You know, so again, I'm, I'm happy that... Um, you know, again, these ideas are out there and there are individuals and other organizations who are making an effort to, uh, you know, to tackle this in a different way. And then, uh, you know, and brother, again, Brother Avi knows my, my take on, on currency and, 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 and money and, you know, what is this entity that we really cannot see and, uh, but we really actually cannot live without, you know. And um, I always said, you know, that um, back in the day, uh, you know, pe that's how people, you know, survived and thrived by trading um, all the time. And then a different, you know, idea comes in, uh, you know, of course, starting off with minerals and, um, and, and then, of course, goes to, to coins and then paper. And now we've got e-currency now and uh, or cryptocurrency. 
and uh, yeah, I don't know what's next. Eh? So it kind of seems like it's just numbers on computer screens, but um, I would love to be a part of that discussion as well. So again, thank you very much uh, for that uh, presentation and uh, look forward to some, some, more, um, some more of your presentation going forward. Thank you. Yeah, welcome, Brother Ikan. I think you, you came in late. Uh, we, we already finished the, 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 the presentation. I hope next time you can join us. Brother Ikan, can you hear us? Maybe you can say hello to the guys and then we can. Um, I am so, I'm so sorry about that. I did not know how to um, get on. And, and you understand, so I'm so sorry. You feel me? Uh, but um, I want to say to everyone, when Bob Marley was saying one love, he really was really talking to black people. You see me? Uh -huh. So one love, everyone, that's black. Thank you so we much. have to really, we have to really regard. It's like we have to get it, start getting a new initiative to regard blackness and disregard whiteness on purpose you understand what i mean this war we can't do it with um no sticks and stones therefore it is mentally so what they have done is abused us mentally therefore we have to do it in return because that's the war what i mean they must not survive in Africa. Africa should be the place for them to get poor, for them to get poor. You see me? So we have to be ruthless on purpose against them because what's going on is us being ruthless on purpose against each other. You see me? So I have said the oath I don't know if everyone lis listened to my voice message, you feel me? But I have, but that oath is, um, I swear loyalty to the black skin and patriotism to Africa. Mm. So it means on purpose, we gonna show royalty to each other in terms of treat each other like royalty. You feel me? That we are. And even if we wasn't, just like them instill that thing on themselves. Therefore, we still have to just, okay, assume royalty and initiate it on ourselves, each other. You feel me? So we don't want to see our mentally impaired people on the street because seeing that it mean and we tolerating that, it means that we are not proven um our oath you see me so we have to facilitate for them we can't see we we have to make sure the youth get housing you see me so there can they can start facilitating real growth for their children so so you see these are the initiatives of what it takes to do to to um react on these oaths you understand? We have to make sure their businesses fail. We have to make sure um, they not the ones um, scared, um, safe on the street. They're the ones who scared because we are looking at them. You feel me? Mm. We, need, we need to educate ourselves on the opposite of what's going on. You feel me? We're, 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 um, it's like, don't you notice the governments are turning us in the Africans into tour guides? You feel me? So all of that should have to stop. Where are we all so friendly and laughing, laugh, laughing because of the US dollar or something? You understand what I'm saying, my people? Absolutely. Hello? Absolutely, brother. Thank you so much for that. Let, let's get back to you on that uh, shortly. Um, if, uh, but, yes, but all, sir. Yes, absolutely. I can see Brother Gilbert has opened his mic. Brother Gilbert, you want to say something before we have Brother No, not, 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 actual, not immediately, but in the space I can, I can speak later. Okay, wonderful. Brother Ole, you heard what the other people contributed. you have any final words for that? And then we can have 
uh, but they'll, they'll have some solutions and then we can go on to Brother Gilbert and then we'll come to the end of our session for today. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, a lot of contribution have been made. Uh, I, I just want to say that uh, uh, then things has not to end and has not to be final uh, justification. We need to go deeply together. We need to help and support our people. So I need your support, guys. I need your contribution, much contribution as you can. We know that here we have scientists, we have priests, we have uh, people who are able to lead our government. We, uh, I know we have economists. Uh, we know people who understand deeply about the natural resource, about currency, about whatever, whatever. We have different people. Within the field that we have been started, we have been experiencing whatever, we must have contribution in it. For example, we have Brother Odell there, uh, is an expert in uh, electronics. I appreciate that, uh, that we can help and contribute um, what our local people can contribute through their, uh, their, 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 uh, ele ele electronic issues, uh, having their industries, whatever. So we, I would like to have your contribution because right now we have already designed four books that will go to our local uh, grassroots uh, level and they will be used in, in schools uh, to, to start uh, engaging them through actual education. Uh, in extra curriculum. It's not a curriculum, but it's, uh, we have uh, an opportunity to uh, provide extra curriculum activities or projects. So I would like you guys to, to join also and support Zola Bantu because Zola Bantu has something in a great mind to unite Africa. So others, we can remain as uh, actors and others, they can lead us throughout uh, towards the, the, the goal. So I appreciate that. Thank you, Brother Zola and, and the group. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam uh, Ipeleng, to introduce me to, to Zola Bantu. And thank you to meet everyone, including everyone. Thank you very much. I'm happy. I have a great day and had, uh, thank you so a much. very good Thinking. Thank, Thank you. you so much. And Brother Odell, uh, you mentioned an amazing point. You said that you have some solutions to the, the African, uh, you know, the crisis on security also. But Odell, if you can come in and, and maybe give us some insight on the solutions that you, you, you were talking about, and then we can have Brother Gilbert, and then we'll come to the end of our, our session. Yeah, <clears throat> but um, um, or less uh, touch on an on a important point is to... Um, to share the knowledge with directly to the schools, um, if and especially um, uh, and the, and the what knowledge we, we we are talking about is is, is local grassroots uh, science, you know. And and somebody mentioned in the group also that um, we have to learn to think the opposite of what the globalist um, yeah agenda is uh, dictating. Uh, because one of the sustainable development goals is to is to uh, quality education and yeah, that's that's one goal so they are targeting the education system and they want to want to force that so we have to counter that and and that's a good uh, idea what uh, brother Oles has that he will yeah i will uh, per, i will personally help him with that uh, to to make sure that it goes to different uh, local schools and and stuff but we need also like a centralized um, board of where the um, where the education system is being uh, directed and controlled, so not that uh, some um, uh, external party would just come and force uh, the education system, force it through the public system, and say this is 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 science. No, we should have like some some party who would uh, yeah who would uh, take care of that, who would oversee o o oversee that. So that's one point. Um, with a other point about security, yeah, security is very is very important, and a solution to be could be is is, is if we uh, if we allow to see uh, um, who's uh, who's given the orders uh, in the game reserves, 
but uh, Oles mentioned that also. Yeah, that's a good question. Who, who's, who's, who's dictated the rules there? And uh, is the is the is the army of of the local army of Tanzania is it is it capable enough to patrol its own country? Do it, do you have sovereignty? You know, we should look at that. Do you have sovereignty? If you have sovereignty, then you could uh, control what's in your country. And we need also training the, the the new the youth need to actually have a mindset that you need to fight for their rights. Yes, because we live in the jungle. We live in the paradigm of survival of the fittest so the youth need to grow up with a, with a war, uh, war, warrior's mentality in a sense not a warrior that is bad but a warrior that is war fighting for the good you know that we should preach our children yeah that we, we should not uh, the let me say make, make the the guys turn more more girls no we should in strengthen enforce the, the guys the, the the masculinity of the guy the, the, the boys, but also girls. Girls also have, have critical skills that you need in the military, in a sophisticated military. But you need that to have, if you don't have security, it will be hard to develop because sooner or later the West is going to enforce, they're going to dictate, and then if you don't listen, they will come, they will come and replace the government or do some terrorist action or whatever. They would, so, and, and the, the pressure is, is mounting, so we, that we have to to get to work uh, as soon as I'm there, I'm, I'm do what I could do. But we all have to share uh, this uh, this knowledge uh, about this uh, very important topic is the science. Yeah, they want to impose uh, global science on on the local communities, and that has to be stopped. So that's the thing. That's uh, that's the solution: is to have a centralized uh, system where the education is being controlled, and we should have to. Put uh, p patrol the borders, but we should actually actually talk to different countries who have similar problems, and we have to have a, a, co a coordinate, centralized uh, military from different countries. And I know it could easily be be done, but everybody Can has I to say recognize. Something about that? We have one common enemy. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. We have one common enemy. That is what we have to keep in mind. Yes. Go ahead. Uh, it's like this. Um. It, it's 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 not so hard you see you're not gonna really like um revamp or like vanquish the education system what you can do is add to it what i mean our problem is not knowing our history so if we could find a way to mandate history particularly like black history like um black history of the world or yeah. even mainly african I, I i understand but in this case it's, it's about the science and the science what they what the globalists are are pushing that is in the in the agenda yeah. 2030 uh, goal is that uh, they're pushing the science the the want all the world yeah, but, um, one, one, I, I, and one I'm, science the one world yeah. religion and the one world religion is man. Is he mentioned that in his presentation? That's true. They want man is the is the center of the religion, not nature. So what they yeah. what that's devil worshiping? They are uh, they are forcing a new a yeah. new generation um, to worship what, the devil. All right, all right, all right. Listen, you see, you see, um, I, I I understand all of that, but what I'm trying to say to you is, how do we deal with the reality of things? Right, yeah, we're, right. We're, we're, right. Hold on, hold on, please. So we're we're everyone is Christian or Muslim. Everyone, you see me, and that's something that is so like giant. It's like you gonna look like it's like. So these things, I'm I'm a Rasta man, right? And so I'm from Jamaica, where I live in Florida. But I'm what I what I listen. I have it's like this is an experience for me already how to how to deal with this general public that is so immersed in their concept how you gonna deal with that without getting killed or have to kill everybody you have to mentally transform them no, no, no. And we're it, talking, no, no wait, 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 wait. We're not talking about individual cases. We're talking about policies. We're talking about general policies as a science. I mean, how are you going to get to that? I mean, listen, 
How are you going to get to that? It's like this. It's like this. How are you going to get to that? You have to like, it's like, you have to like maybe formulate some um, dictatorship again. You feel because the world, the, the world, the African world will be against these concepts. You yeah. feel me? Of unity. So, so what I'm saying, mm-hmm. what I'm saying, boss man, you can't do nothing with a useless mind. It don't matter how strong the body is. You can't do nothing with a useless mind. The main thing is, all right, you guys, right, who are in this con- conscious transformation, right? You know where you get it from? Do you know where you get it from? Well, let me tell you. It's years of Marcus Garvey influencing people, people's mind to to do self-development after they were non-development people because of Christianity and all that. So he has found a way to formulate ways and means to get into people's minds through economics, through self-upliftment speeches and all of that stuff and writing books about that and he died without the process happening and and Rastafari also got beat and abused in Jamaica to formulate ways and means to transform the Christian mind into concepts of upliftment for the black people and it hasn't happened yet in Jamaica you feel me yeah, but, yeah, yeah, we know about, about, but, but hold about on, but hold on, but hold on. So Rastafari, is- hold on. So Rastafari has has influenced the world through music and all of that stuff. Soft core, you feel me? Influence the world through self upliftment and Africa. So this this fever has connected to you also through consciousness, to through um what you call it, the dictates of individuals. Who, who's saying that one man can do it? You see me? Who's saying that one man can do it? Make a, a difference of yourself first. You see me? So how are we going to do this is because one of the main factors of Christianity being so distant and Islam being so distant is them not knowing how great they really are and them not, not understanding, especially in Africa, them not understanding that it's black and white. You feel me? So once once you connect history, you're going to see that these people have been destroying you over the years on purpose. You're going to know the beginnings of Christianity. You're going to know all of that stuff softly. So implementing history in school, like if you, if, if, is that if you can find a way to manage the education system, bureaus, in the particular countries, these are the things we should point on. How to Absolutely. influence the education Absolutely. system. Absolutely, but I can. I I don't plan to, to stop you. Let me just uh, inform. A, a yes, sir. And then, and then you can go on. Okay. We have we have come actually to the end of our session, so we will um, just give you a few uh, inputs. You can see the screen that I've shared. Uh, this is basically. Just to let you know of the upcoming lectures that are coming up in the solar and you know, on the 27th, uh, on the 20th of June, we're going to have Brother Sipo Mabasa is going to give us an amazing presentation. Brother Sipo is a holistic herbalist and economist. He's going to teach basically on holistic healing. So if you're interested to know about holistic healing, you can basically be available next uh, Sunday to be able to get a teaching from Brother Sipo Mabasa, he's in Saku. So like I said, in this struggle of liberating Africa, we have to fight in all these three angles. We have to fight as priests. We have to fight as scientists like we had today with Ole and also as politicians as well and governors. So on the 20th, we're going to have Brother Sipo. He's going to give us a lecture on holistic healing. And then on the 27th, we'll be blessed with Mr. Peleng. She'll be teaching on livestock coach and also spiritual awakening. If you are interested to learn more on spiritual awakening. <laughs> Please, please do join us. You, uh, Mr. Peleng will be there to give a lecture on spiritual awakening. And then on the 5th of July, we're going to have Miss Miss Lebohang is going to join us. She'll be teaching on healing. If you want to really be part of this, you can join us on the 5th of July, Sunday. Mr. Peleng will teach us on healing. So these are the programs coming up at Solo Run 2. We hope that you can also be able to, to attend and participate. And then we have on the second week of Sunday, 
uh, Brother Odeo is going to give us an amazing lecture on transhumanism. It's very, very interesting. So we hope that you be available on the second week of Sunday to, of July to know more about transhumanism. But Odeo just mentioned it, how they are trying to see how they can move us from nature to robotic. So Brother Odeo is going to touch on that as well as he speaks on transhumanism on the second Sunday of, uh, of, um, of, of July. So we thank you so much, uh, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll have uh, an open flow discussion. And then, yeah, we can have Brother, Brother, Odeo, Brother Gilbert first, and then we can have Brother Odeo and Brother Ikan. We can continue. Uh, Brother, Brother, Brother Gilbert, if you can, you, can come, you can come in, Brother Gilbert. Yeah, OK. Thank you, everybody. It's been a very interesting uh, conversation. There are actually lots and lot of things that uh, we have to do. Just like, uh, sorry, I can't actually recall the name. So I just say, brother, I'm trying to, to direct at least the Jamaican brother, let me call it like that. Uh, yeah, he's actually saying, making a very great point there about um, educating the ordinary person where the power, where the power reigns. The ordinary person is informed. Uh, other things that we are doing, they go hand in hand, but so long as they are not informed, they will just be following what you know the current uh, system uh, says to them. And then I want to add something that I think I've mentioned before, that uh, we also, we need to have courage within ourselves at all levels. And uh, this is something that I feel, and I think it lacks it among almost all the black community, wherever they find themselves around the world. I repeat the example. How, who among us, who you hear, ever been called like, hey, you monkey? And you go around crying, yeah, I've been called a monkey, I've been called this, going to report it to the police. Nobody cares. Somebody calls you a monkey, but you're not a monkey. You call back, monkey, it's simple, stand your ground. If you can't stand your ground from something as simple as this, I wonder, I wonder what other thing we're going to do. This is just one example of what other things I'm going to share. I leave the floor now for other people. Thank you. Anybody wants to, to come in? Yeah. You here? OK. Yeah. yeah, well, just if nobody's coming in, then I will be in. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, well, um, yeah, well, just to, to add what um, but Brother Gilbert was saying, yes, you, you got to stand your ground. We live in a, a world of competition, uh, whether you like it or not. So you choose to get out the jungle, go live in the city or in the civilized world. Well, then there, there, there is, uh, you, you have to, to have to be smart to, to maneuver yourself in, in this, in a, yeah, in a complicated world. You know, so and the way how the, the people in power keep, remain in power, their old strategy is to divide and rule. And how you can divide two people or, or, or a crowd is by telling one side uh, to go left and the other side to go right. And, and so when they form as a group, you tell the group you go, you, 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 you go the right way and then they will have clashes. And so, you know, so that's the thing. So what we need to, to, to tell the youth, I think, is to, uh, to, to, to tell them how the global system works. And that's exactly what we're doing now. We need to t talk about this more and more. It's a, it's a process, you know, like a therapy. We need self-therapy. And, and indeed, I 100% agree with you, Brother Gilbert. That's the, 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 the word of the day, confidence, self-confidence. You know, it's confidence and, and, and it's not... They could, they could make fun of you. So what? But if you love yourself, you, you would make fun of them. So make fun of them. You got to fight back. Yes, you can't just let them walk over you. No way. Just, just, you, you, we got to find a strategy. It's, the world is like one big chess game. Yes, and they, the, the people in power, they like to play chess and like to play the weaker people, how they consider weaker. So we have to show that we're not weaker. We're not uh, inferior to them. Right, and we could cross them in, in, in Africa. They should be getting poor. Somebody said a nice word, they should be getting poorer in Africa. Of course, what the hell are they getting rich in Africa? Oh, what the hell, Richard Bronson is rich from Africa, or, or, or Mr. How you call uh, Elon Musk? He's a South African, 
the second richest guy in the world. How could it be? You know, so that should be stopped. That should be turned completely around. So we have to, everything we have to invert. What they say, you have to ridiculize them. Just like how they do to us, we are have to do it in, with our numbers, we will win. We have to be united, united in one front. You know, and no, say no to the global agenda. Okay, you, uh, somebody else can go now. I dropped my mic. Yeah, we, we can have Brother Akon. You can go on, Brother Akon, and then we can have um, any any other person as well. They can make their input. Brother Akon? Okay, sir. Um, um, I am very pleased with with um my brothers and sisters um understanding of these facts because it's inevitable. There's no way. It's like we have to do something that we haven't tried before on a mass scale. Stupidity is at a mass scale, both in Africa and the Caribbean and in the, in the Americas. And in Europe, I'm talking about black people, like stupidity is at a massive scale. And it is turning our women into prostitutes and um, all type of things. You feel me? There is no loyalty to our color. Listen, it, that's what, you see, that's what I'm telling you, you have to, folk, you have, we have to um, try to get in the education system smartly and 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 um what you call legislationally you feel me we have to implement the knowledge of history even at the basic level it depends on which history is taken it depends which history which his, which story? African history. African oh, history. Black I history want to general. hear from a black person. Yeah? Why black say scholar. That? A black huh? scholar. Yeah? A black scholar. You yeah. should teach me history. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't. I'm sorry. And I'm glad you spoke on that. Of course. I mean, like, Sheikh Antadia, John Henry Clark. These are the histories. Like, yeah. Get our history from black people. You see me? We need, that's why I'm telling you, yeah, that's exactly, you see me? Because why would we get, um, why would we do that? I wouldn't be speaking of getting um, um, our his, African history from white people, you see me? When we have um, great historians, even the guy in, 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 in Congo, um, Teofil um, Obenga, come on, these are, these are, greater historians than the world ever seen. So we have to endorse these people and 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 sell their books. We have to we have to make these black historians rich. You need all of these books in the children's hands. You feel me? As I was saying now, can you imagine a judge not knowing his history? What kind of judge would he be? Hmm. Should that should that even be should that even be an option? So it should be made mandatory in the judicial system that you can't pass the bar until you have masters in history, black history. You feel me? I mean, you need to know about Africa ten thousand years ago. You understand these things? How can you be a judge? What kind of morals would you have towards black people if you black and don't know history and you want to be a judge over people? You serious? So I, I'll be like, yeah, these things should be made mandated in the schools so and mandated in your presidential offices and all of that stuff when the time comes that these people should have masters in history 
for them to be having these posts. If you mean, you can't have idiots having these posts. Can you imagine an idiot getting rich? He will wipe you all out. And that's what the president is doing. You feel me? And that's why, and that's why we, we, we lack of innovation because we don't know our history, so we don't have no confidence in self. So therefore, you can't think to innovate. You feel me? Even, even an uneducated man who knows himself can think better than you. That's educated. You understand? So, 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 um, so, um, to me, education it, it is not fulfilled until a people know their history. And I'm not talking about, um, pigeon history or goddamn, um, the history of Namibia or the history of Igbo or the history of, um, Ghana. I'm talking about African general history and black history that black um western history all of these things should be known before you graduate from school and to take it to a next level to tuition level you we know you should know like deep history you feel me yeah, so, brother. Brother, yes, so um, yeah. you explain and um why um why is it necessary to to get a deep understanding of of history black history Can you explain why? yeah because it's it's like it's self acknowledgement it's like how can you what would you be proud of if you never knew what your daddy did you feel me what would you be proud of what would make you stand up yeah, if you never wait, knew wait wait what? but they have they have a lot of people who don't uh, uh, know the daddy. I never know my father, so in my real father. No. So yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, so I'm, I'm not talking the same about I'm our the same fathers. Place, no, listen, I'm talking about our fathers because I'm not really speaking individual. I'm really speaking in general. So Jehuti, Ra, Imhotep, these are our fathers. You see me? Um. Naya Bingi from from and Mama Warriors from um from goddamn Kenya. These are our fathers. You see me? Um, yeah, but um how, how could he, how could we be sure that the, those uh, forefathers, those scholars from back in the days, that they would not be influenced like how now modern day uh, uh, black scientists are being played like a puppet to 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 to, to propagate the. Uh, the Western uh, devil system, evil B system. Uh, uh, how could you be sure that that those guys? I I I I, I want to believe you, really. I really really want to believe you, but we are not sure that those guys are don't have an altered history too. Because if you don't uh, write the books, who? Who? And, and, and yes, well, who you you? Who, which guys? Heard, which guys are you talking about? You what you just mentioned, our forefathers. Yeah. Our forefathers, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm saying this, right? Nobody in the world doesn't have no faults. You feel me? And, and, and when I study history, you get to understand that ain't nobody coming out of the sky for you. When we study history, we get to understand that this is a world of reality where good and bad has to exist. Right. We can die of, we can die of, so everything should be balanced. So what you need to do is set balance. So since we don't know our history, what would be like if the masters know our history? Yeah, I mean, we did it, we are doing it. No, listen, we are doing it. It's like this, it's like this. We never seen Africa knowing one thing on a, on a real level. We've never seen that. So that, so we want to do something even greater than Egypt. And that is having Africa, having one knowledge and understanding that our greatness gonna come with the love of our skin. You see me? In which these things are not tried and was never tried in Africa. So what, what is the definition of insanity? 
doing the same thing all the time and trying to expect a different um um outcome. outcome yeah. you know I mean? So 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 we have to try something else. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Absolutely. And that is Absolutely. and that is self reliance, mm-hmm. black pride, black upliftment. And 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 um and opposition of anything else. Mm-hmm. To be, because you know we gotta keep in mind eh, that what yeah. I recently find out it will blow everybody's mind. Uh, you 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 guys should investigate uh, if you have time the um, the uh, World Her- Heritage Foundation. The World Heritage Foundation, all those monuments, all those sites, will represent actually. Building that the, the Europeans did not build. The modern day Europeans did not build uh, the Notre Dame. They did not build the 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 the, the Arc de Triomphe, or did not build the Big Ben uh, Church. They did not build the 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 Vatican City. You know, they, 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 those structures were built with a, a previous civilization that has been lost because we don't have the technology to build some certain structures. And, and it turned out to be that uh, those structures are actually uh, generators. Uh, yeah, but, but, but they use it as church and as monuments. So what does it say, what does it say about the modern day um, homo sapiens, the Europeans, that they're not so fantastic as how they look like and how they present themselves, you know? We could build our own things. We have, the, say, we, there are many black people have more knowledge than white people, but we don't realize that. We don't realize that, you know, and the only fighting toward each other, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, doubting each other. If one of us find a solution, find a new breakthrough for the new invention, the other one will, 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 will pull you down. You know, it's like rats. No, no, it's like monkeys you lock up in a cage, right? And, and, and the one monkey want, uh, want to climb up and to escape, the other monkey pull him down, right? So, and the whole group will stay in the cage while rats, if you if you lock up rats, yeah, uh, one rat find a hole and he, he walk through the hole, the other rats follow. The other rats follow that same uh, rat, and then all the rats escape escape the trap. So we need to learn from the rats. Yeah, we need to learn basic uh, thing is to ac- to uh, ac- acknowledge ourselves, indeed learn about history, yes, and and learn and and learn, uh, but not only a negative thing what we've been through, but what we build, what what yeah, what we have generated before and there are many more things were being hidden for us we should scan our lands scan our lands maybe there are lots of, of, of monuments and old uh, 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 artifacts and structures what we did not found yet what maybe the european found but they don't want to go us to to let us roam there and to, and to see what it was there you know so that's why they, they also plan the bigger plan of the globalists want people to leave leave farmland leave the leave the countryside and move to the city right we should do the opposite we should go to the farmland and get and work the land. Yes, there, there we could eat organic food and we could uh, have a natural life and we could also explore and know about uh, the environment and about our history. Yeah, and to, to, to make our own history, make our own, um, our own judgment, look at uh, the different artifacts. We, we, we go different uh, places, mountains, uh, valleys, bushes, anyway, we look and see, we scan the whole place, right? And to see if we could find also minerals. And then we could. Can you hear me? That's how that's how we should approach, but not not just 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 yeah. I mean, a lot of uh, black people are just lazy. Maybe okay. that's also one. Absolutely, but the, let's try to hear other people first, and then because we're coming to the end uh, of sorry. the session. Yeah, brother Berima, uh, you have anything to to add to the conversation, brother Berima? Um, if you can unmute your your mic, brother Berima, you there? Okay. Let's have uh, Brother Cabello. You have anything to add to the conversation before we come to the end of our session? Your closing remarks, Brother Cabello. Okay. Um, Brother Yannick, you have anything to add to the conversation before we come to an end? Yeah, thank you. Just very quickly, um, some of the issues I, I picked up today and in other places was dealing with root. Um, problems to, to try to find Beirut solutions. Um, Otep to Brother Ican for bringing the wisdom. 
um, that I think he has shared with us today and perhaps picking on the model that I think Brother Ole has relayed, which is a pragmatic, one of many pragmatic steps in which we can apply, whether it's decolonizing um, science, natural science, and what that take is or elsewhere. And obviously thanking Zola Bantu in terms of the infrastructure and the engagement for that today. So amongst ourselves here today, we, we have raised both problems and by being here almost simultaneously <laughs> are, are the solutions at the same time. And so that for me is always cherishing to see. But again, I think we do have a challenge of history when it comes to talking about history, because we're, when we say history, we're all starting from different starting points, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Gavi would have had parents, um, their history. Um, so would Diop, um, so with the current ones, um, Pierre Lomumba, so there, there, there are many. Um, that are still alive within Africa and African soil, sharing our history. Um, and therefore, I think we need to, to, to think very carefully about decolonizing um, our history, especially if you, you accept um, racism has existed and, and what unpacking what racism is and the corruption behind that and just not accepting, which I think is a point that was raised before history, as it said, and then or where do we start from? But when we talk about our history, it's uh, something that I, I say I have a, a challenge with up until now. But thank you, overall, thank you. Thank you so much, Brother Yannick. Can we have Brother Gilbert? And then we can have, have Brother Zahir, and then we can come to an end and with Brother Odell and Brother Icon. Brother, Brother Gilbert, you have uh, something to add? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. want. Um... There's always a lot, a lot to say, but I'll just try to just be brief since we're out of time. Um, one other way which I think in this effort of decolonizing the brain, the mind, the education, the science, especially our history, um, I just want to repeat something that Brother Olias even mentioned before. The local level at the local level. Me, for example, right here I am. It will be a mistake if the youths that come from the area where I come are not aware of what is going on. So in the same way, other, all of us, um, whether you are abroad or you are at home, let, let the local, let the local youths, let them, let, let this thing stick in here. Process. Information is key. And uh, that's just a brief of one way I think we can um, spread the message to our people. Thank you. Absolutely. Can we have Brother, Brother Berima? Yes, Brother Berima. You can go on, Brother Berima. Can you unmute your mic, Brother Berima? Yes, hello. Go on, brother. Yes, go on, Brother Berima. I'm, I'm sorry that you called me, even I, I did not speak. Um, thank you very much, and um, I'm very happy that uh, to hear about our culture and history and those things, everything. I'm very happy, thanks to our brother. Um, one thing I want to uh, maybe remind all of us in this platform. Uh, in fact, I'm very happy that we are all together starting this platform about the history and what is going on, proving things wrong, because we must talk the truth. You see, in this platform, I believe when we are coming on this platform, with religion matters and those things, I think it will be a different shape for us all. Um, because uh, once I am learning from my um, forefather that we must also um, learn what is good for us, or especially our culture and those things. But for here, I believe when we comes to this platform, we have stopped the religion matters and those things. When we go to that point, 
it will it means that maybe we are challenging ourselves because some of them are christians some of them are muslims some of them are also traditionalists and those things but what i know is better for us to learn about our culture our culture is very very good for us because indeed the culture is for us and it is for africans that's what i believe so when we come here i will be very happy that's my mind my opinion that i'm even explaining to each and everyone and uh, my opinion is that maybe when we come to this platform it's better for us to talk alone about our culture that will lead us ahead to do what is for us and own what is for us. So I believe when we do in this way, it will help us than to talk about other religions and those matters. Because if you are from in this platform, when you wanted to go to your church, that is for you. And if we are from here, we wanted to go to maybe to Muslims, mocks, that is for you. You see, I think it will help better to make a difference on this platform so that we all can know what we are going to do so that our mind will be remain on one position so that we can do things together and so that we can raise our flag of Africa to to even get what we want or to let our vision go viral to even the generation to also continue on for us that's my mind Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Can we have Brother Cabello and then we'll have Brother Zahir and then we can uh, have Brother Deo and Brother Icon to end and then we can all, oh, and Miss, Miss Lebonke said something as well. Brother Cabello, are you there? Okay. Let's have. Okay, um, hello. Um, yes. yes. Uh, just, I mean, uh, I'm grateful already I met work right now. I mean, not even a position to talk, but I've been listening. Thank you very much, sir. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Miss, Miss, Miss Lebo, right. something you want to say before we for, before we close, Miss Lebo? Okay, let's have Brother here. Something you want to say before we close? No, thank you very much again uh, for a good uh, for a good discussion. Appreciate it, James. Wonderful. Let's have the final points from Brother Icon and Brother Odeo, and then we can we end the session for today. Brother Icon and Brother Odeo, and then Brother Icon. Yes, sir. Yeah, go on, go on. Yes, sir. Then Brother Odeo. I want to tell you that, um, I want to tell my brothers and sisters that I am not worthy to be in the presence of such an illustrious panel. You feel me? Um, I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it, really. You feel me? Um, so, mediocrity. We have to, we have to start um, um, dictating mediocrity. We have to, we need a real investment project. So, is that this? You have to have the model, probably like the um, Rockefellers or the Rothschild. You have to have that model. So therefore, you can you with a uh, what you'd call it a uh, um, decolonized mindset and a and a um revolutionary our system revolutionary mindset there then there you can feed agencies to do particular jobs without that you have no power starting um um the gentleman um the big man the um the king said we need to address the local um mentality so as i was saying one time i said youth clubs we need to start popping up youth clubs all you need is a little community centers so you so we either build the community centers or 
mess with the existing community centers. Start youth clubs. Find ways and means to get them there. Like treatment. Give them good treatment, like fine things. You feel me? Fine glowing things, shiny things. You feel me? For them to get there. So, so with this oath, you can't be a member without, you can't be a member nor maybe enter the club without saying the oath. So what you're doing is convicting people. So you're going to convict Christians and Muslims in saying that because they want those shiny things. We got to be tricky also. We got to be tricky also because that's what's going on. But our goal is loyalty to the black skin and patriotism to Africa. So these, this is what you're going to trick people into. You understand? Make them say it. That's why I try to get you all to type it in the chat because you, con you convicted yourself by saying it. You feel me? No. You, so, so, so these are I, I it I never seen it. I never seen it work, but ain't nobody do it either. But we have to try something. You feel me? So the clubs, the youth clubs will formulate all type of um monetary drives. You feel me? You can have the headquarters. You have so 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 around Africa, each of us are you could start dots of youth clubs, you see me, around these goals. So you have your, your um, what you call it, um, um, projector, teaching history in the youth clubs, playing whatever little games for a minute and teaching history. So that's you doing your part through youth clubs. And you're going to have drives to make people better. So you get a lot of sewing machines and make start little sewing factories out of the youth club. You feel me? Where you teach people to sew. You feel me? Where you teach people to, to you, you get a lot of um, 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 tools, like carpenter tools, and teach the boys how to do carpentry type of shit. You feel me? Both construction carpentry and furniture carpentry, you feel me? And all different type of other stuff, you feel me? Yeah, absolutely, so, but I can, absolutely. So, so we so have much. to, so these are the things we have to focus on, mm. you feel me? Yeah, I, th I think we need, to talk, we need to talk more on the club and then see how we can work with our idea. But Odell, you can uh, end, end us and then we can, you can just add your ending remarks and then we can close for, for today. We hope we can meet on next Sunday for the next lecture with, by Brother Sipo. Yeah, but audio go on. Yeah, just to summarize what I have learned today um, is uh, a little bit um, more in details uh, about how the globalist power powers uh, of today uh, want to, to push the agenda. Um, in this case, is uh, environment is one of the sustainable development goals. goals uh, control over the environment and um, has to do with climate change, but also has to do with uh, control over nature itself. And they want people just to leave nature to go to the city. So I'm glad that 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 somebody is, is there working on it. And as soon as I am there in the, on the ground, uh, we will be um, I'll be doing exactly what uh, Brother Icon just said. I think he said um, we should uh, reach uh, to the yeah on the grassroots level on the to the youth make a youth youth uh, organization and stuff those are positive uh, things that we can do you know so and um what else i learned is that um yeah um uh the the, the science should be more uh, uh locally yeah I, I i felt it's that but but now i i learned that it we, we really should hold on on this and uh, and yeah fight the sustainable development goals, fight them. Uh, we, we have to ignore everything, what they say. So that's the uh, closing remarks, I think. 
Yeah, thank you all for joining us in this beautiful lecture for bringing your contribution as well. We can continue the conversation in the WhatsApp group. I hope all of you have an amazing evening or morning. Uh, bless, or blessings to all of you guys. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks, thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank Thanks you. It was a privilege. Thank you.